Now, what is a tool presetter? Basically, this is a tool that allows you to be able to set your Z-axis to zero on the bed, whether you've changed the bit that you're using or you've changed the material that you're cutting. Now, at Advanced Machinery, we offer you three kinds of tool presetters. And let me show you what those are. This one here is the wired tool presetter. Basically, you wire this straight onto the motherboard and you put it to measure your Z-axis height. This is the most accurate of the two presetters that we have. It is accurate up to 0.001 of a millimeter. The next one that we have, the wireless two presetter. It has a connection that you set on the motherboard and this will wirelessly pick up from here. As you can see when I press it, there's two lights turn on. Now, this will need batteries to use, so you frequently need to change them as per use. This is accurate up to 0.001 of a millimeter. The next one that we have is the DIY tube presetter, which comes default in the machine. Basically, this is accurate up to 0.1 of a millimeter. And the only disadvantage with this is that it is copper and different tools might eventually damage the surface but that's going to take a while. Right, so now how does it work? For all our two presetters, basically all you need to do is set them on the surface of the material that you're going to cut, preferably in the middle, because your bed might be offset or the material might not be as level as you think. It is preferable that firstly you move it manually to about 10 millimeters so that you know that you are aiming on top of the calibration tool. Then you press shift and calibrate. Once you've pressed the buttons, you're going to see that the tool will slowly move down until it touches the tool presetter. And this way, the system knows where and how far above it is the material. So far, so good. All right, now, so how do you install these two presetters? So the DIY, you simply plug it in. Now, let's take a look at the two others. Come along. Starting with the wide one. We have an orange cable, which is going to take the first connection which is on Signal GX16. The next cable is the blue cable. We're going to put it on 24V output power. We have a red cable, which we're going to put on the ground. And finally, there's a green cable, which we're going to wire on the next lug that is on the GX09 port. Okay, so the wiring is done and your machine is basically off right now. Once you're done, turn it on. And once you turn it on, it's going to ask you, do you want to home it? Yes, do that, home it to the origin position. And the next thing you want to do is to set the thickness of your calibration tool inside the system. How you do that? You go to menu, once you get to menu, you have option number five, which is manufacturing parameters. And after that, you're going to see where it says tool thickness as you move down the option. Once you find it, get in there and firstly measure manually your tool presetter. After you measure it, enter that value in there and always press OK so that it saves. After that, you can exit and home it again so that it remembers this memory. And then after that, you're ready to start using your tool. Right, now let's talk about the wireless two presetter installation. For the wireless connection of the two presetter, I'll have you know, because it's a normally open circuit, you're going to need to bypass something here. Your com and your ground are going to need to go on one port, which is any ground port that you have on the motherboard. So find anything labeled GND and put this together. Next thing is your probe is gonna go on signal. Anywhere there's signal, which is the first port, GX16, or on the DI router, it's going to be the cut. Finally, the 5 to 24 volt cable is just going to go on the 24V outlet. And basically, that's it. Once that's done, you're going to turn on your machine and you're going to home it. Next thing, you're going to get into the manufacturing parameter settings 
again and you're gonna change the thickness of the tool again. So you're gonna measure it and then enter that and always press OK to save. After that you exit and you're ready to start setting your zero axis and start cutting. Now when it comes to the Easy Route Express, basically everything is the same, just a few differences. To start with, your control pad here doesn't have the icon to show you how to preset the Z-axis. And even if you check at the back, you will not find that function. However, if you were to press Shift and Z, it's going to ask you floating to setting. And when you say OK, this is the same way that it works on the other bigger routers. Right. Now having said that, your DIY and your wireless two preset basically work the same way on this unit as they do on the CNC bigger routers. Now I have you know that the wired two preset being the most accurate to 0.001 millimeter will not function well here because it's a normally closed circuit. So it's normally meant for the bigger machines. For this one, we are limited to the wireless two preset which is accurate to 0.01 millimeters and of course this one the DIY which is limited to 0.1 millimeter accuracy apart from that everything is just the same now however if you are insistent to use a wired two preset for the Express DIY router then we can of course make a way which would basically be buying a normally open circuit for your two preset and we have tech support for that they will assist you in every step of the way now you'll be happy to know that the DIY 2 presetter comes free with any of our new routers that you would buy from us. However, all three are available in stock. So if ever you want to buy, do contact our sales. You'll also know that we have other varieties of beats that you might want to use and all the other consumables for the router. Again, contact sales for all of this and you can also visit our website, am.co.za and find out more information about us. A lot of videos are there to watch and they will help. Cheers. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Grand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor, 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. Machine Dot Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.